This is everything you need to look after a spiny leaf insect. You need an enclosure, which is water with a spray bottle, and eucalyptus gum leaves. When you've got a baby nymph spiny leaf insect, the best leaves are the newest one, so the smallest stalk will help you identify the newest and freshest leaves. You need to make sure that the leaves are eucalyptus gum leaves, and you can do that by splitting the leaf in half and having a smell and it's, you'll find a very strong smell of eucalypt when you split it in half. As they grow, you can get a bigger enclosure and I'll show you more about this later. In your enclosure, you need a bottle of some description to keep the leaves in so they keep nice and moist so they don't dry out too quickly. So I've just used a simple baby bottle from the $2 shop in the baby shower section, cut the top off and I just fill that with water and stick the leaves out of the top. You can use a jar with cloud wrap over the top. Just don't want the hole too big because otherwise the nymphs might fall in and drown. This is a nymph spiny leaf insect. It's not very old, maybe five, six days old. And they grow quite quickly. Eating away at the leaf, you can see the hole where she's been eating today. So this is Lola, she's a lot bigger, she's grown, she's molted her skin three times so far and it takes five times until they're fully grown into an adult. So Lola's the biggest one we have and we got her in January when she was a small nymph and she's grown quite quickly in four months time. When they do become an adult, they can self-reproduce and lay baby lay eggs, which can take up to six to nine months for their eggs to hatch, and you'll get baby nymphs. They'll always be girls unless they're in an enclosure with a male where they can make a male. There's Bella on my other arm. She's not quite as big as Lola. She's only shed her skin twice quite tricky to know when they've shed their skin because they tend to do it overnight and then they eat their skin when they're a baby we found their skin in the morning but often now it's a little bit trickier to see when they've grown but you can obviously they get bigger when they shed their skin so the size is a lot bigger as part of their learning in science they had to design a new enclosure a new habitat for our pets to live this is some of the kindergarten students' drawings of the habitat that they designed for Lola and Bella. They were excited to be able to draw a new house that would be a suitable environment for Lola and Bella to live in. This is the habitat that they designed, came up with, and our wonderful GA actually made their design come to reality. So they were super proud and super excited about our new enclosure for Lola and Bella and um, they live quite happily inside there. Just a spray of water to keep the leaves nice and moist. New leaves every three to four days. The tank you can see at the bottom of the enclosure is little black bits, that's their poo. And so they need to be cleaned out regularly as well. So their enclosure is nice and clean. And they make a nice classroom pet. They're easily handled by st the students. Um, students like to have them on their arms, falling over them. of fun looking after them and identifying what's what the needs are of our spiny leaf insects.